Welcome to Yin Yoga. My name is Hiro. If we haven't met before, we'll be moving in stillness with our breath as we encourage the body to relax into more static, longer held, myofascial layers in the body. So if you're less familiar with Yin Yoga, and you may notice that it's a little bit more challenging for the mind to settle and for the body to be still. That's part of the beauty and also the discipline that comes with our yin yoga practices. So you don't need any props for this practice, but you're welcome to use blocks and bolsters if you have them. Otherwise, we'll start with a brief seated meditation. And if you have a cushion or a pillow or some kind of chip foam block to sit up on top of, please feel welcome to do that as well. And let your knees comfortably lower, even cross your ankles if you like, or have a leg out in front of you. And close your eyes. Feeling the weight of your sitting bones rooting down the crown of your head lengthening up to the ceiling. Noticing if there's any distractions or fluctuations in the mind and if that takes you out of the conscious moment in the body and as you continue to settle more into your own breathing patterns, notice the breath coming through the nose and into the belly, into the ribcage. And exhaling through the mouth. Inhale, and exhale, we hold so much tension around our bellies, this place of our intuition, our gut, our desire, the money for our chakra. Place your palms over top of each other, over your navel, and take a big belly breath into your palms. Take the sound of Om. Releasing the hands down to the thighs eyes blink open a couple times. Good. From there we'll come on to our hands and our knees to tabletop position, making our way into a few gentle rounds of cat and cow just to lengthen the vertebra and the spine. From your tabletop position, inhale, reach your hips back and your chest forward as you lift up through the crown of the head and the tailbone. And exhale, round in the spine, bring the chin into the throat. Going back and forth. Going from either 
your side, left and right, opening up space between the rib cage. Touch your palms together, lift your forearms off the ground, and then you can take your thumbs to the back of your skull and walk your elbows slightly forward. Keep that, finding traction as you bring your hips back to your heels and breathing into your arms, into the triceps and the deltoids for another minute or so.
beats the forearms down. Guide yourself forward to your hands and your knees. And then up to the tabletop position as a baseline. Finding a few more rounds of cat and cow. Rounding and extending. And then we'll find ourselves into an upper body thread the needle position by reaching the right arm out and up towards the ceiling. And then exhaling, threading the right arm underneath the left, coming onto the right arm, so the deltoid kind of tricep region, and bringing the right side of the face down to the ground. Keep your hips lifting up and tend your left fingertips in line, either with the shoulder or somewhere in front, so you can have that support on the upper right arm bone. Once you're there, you might decide to come out early, you might not be feeling it for you, that's totally understandable. If you feel okay though, we'll be here for about a minute or so. Don't need to be in the upper body as long as these joints and these muscles in our arms are more yang tissue, more tensile, as opposed to fascial. fascial. So, upper body and yin is very important as long as it's provided the appropriate differences in holding. Inhale to your right arm. Ah, letting it all out. here for the right side. Using your left hand, inhale your head off the mat, reach your right arm back up to the right side, open up your chest to the right. And then releasing the right hand down to the mat. From there, we'll do the left side. Inhale, reach your left arm out and up. Exhale, thread the left arm underneath the right arm towards the right side, off the mat, onto the floor. Bring your left side of your face down, tenting your right fingertips, and breathe. Inhale, carefully unwind, opening up to the left, releasing back down to tabletop position. Good. Just let your hips and your torso sway side to side.
From here, we'll come into a toe squat. So you can have the toes tucked underneath you and your bum coming to your heels. You can feed your fingers down and try to pull the pinky toes out to the side because sometimes for my pinky toes, they tend to kind of run away. So try to get the all 10 toe pads on the ground. Maybe you can roll your shoulders back. Lift up to the crown of the head. Maybe a slight drawing of the navel depending on how your body feels. And then if it's okay with your body, you can also add in the arms as you bring the arms up overhead. And then take your right arm under your left arm. Taking hands to either shoulder blade, giving yourself a bit of a hug. And then roll the shoulder blades together as the elbows stay in line with the shoulders. And breathe in. And out. So you take the right arm on top this time, taking a couple breaths here. Release the arms, reach them back up overhead. Exhale, face the palms down, come on to the weight of your hands as you lift the feet off the ground and keep them still for a moment. Let the blood flow back through the feet before they find a little bit more movement and engagement. You can start with a little twinkling of your toes, rolling of the ankles and pointing and flexing of your feet now. Tapping the tops of your feet out on the mat. Very nice. We'll come to the ankle stretch. So you can come back to sitting on your heels with the tops of your feet down this time. So we have the dorsal flexion, the dorsal top part of the foot on the ground. Tend your fingertips on either side of your hips. Roll your weight back into your heels, press down actively through the tops of the feet and finding your ankle stretch. You don't have to bring your knees super high off the ground. It all depends on your own comfort and what your body is asking of. Good, inhale. Gently stick out the tongue for a soft lion's breath. And then gently rewind your body back onto the shins. And we'll come into a deeper folded child's pose with the knees together, palms facing up down by your sides, and soften the forehead down. If you have the assist of a prop, you can put a block beneath your forehead if you have that available, or a pillow. And closing in. Breathe into your belly, into your thighs. forward now, come up just enough to slide onto your hips, you take your block away if you're using a block, and then bring your feet out a little bit wider, with your hands supporting behind you, you can start the windshield wiper your legs and your knees from side to side. From there, sitting on your sitting bones now, go ahead and take your legs out in front of you, a little bit wider than your hips width apart. Now I have a chip bone block that I like to sit on that took my pelvis forward, but that's up to you if you want to take an elevated uh, height in your seat. From there, take your hands on either side of your knees or your thighs and lift your chest up. And as you exhale, let gravity round through the spine, finding some flexion here. You can bend those knees any, de any degree. Palms face up on the legs. 
and let your head round a little bit more into a brief seated forward fold. Feeling into the body. Feeling and being. Less thinking, less doing. Inhale, breathe into the back of your spine as you come up one vertebra at a time. I'll just take a moment for the head to settle. Slide your heels in, bending the knees, crossing the ankles into a seated position. We'll come into a seated twist by taking the right hand to the left thigh and knee, and the left hand behind. Inhale, lengthen out through the crown of your head. And then exhale, resist that right hand and the left knee, and the left fingertips into the floor to lift up taller, and then exhale, revolve around the spine. Inhale to try and get a little bit longer. And exhale to rotate a little bit more. Inhale to center. Place the left hand on the left knee and the right hand behind as you lift up for a counter twist to the right. Staying in this direction, place the left hand to the right thigh. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, revolve to the right, second side.
Inhale back to center. Counter twisting the right hand on the right knee over to the left. Inhale. Inhale to center. Exhale, round into the spine. seated. If you're on your block, taking your block off to the side. We're going to find our way into Shavasana here. So feel welcome if you have props and holsters and stuff. You can take them underneath your knees if you like. It's okay if you just want to lay down without any props. That's fine too. But I'm going to take a couple of holsters for me personally beneath my legs. Scooch my sit bones close and roll down to the forearms. And then roll down one vertebra at a time. If you have an eye covering of any kind or blankets, get nice and cozy for the next few minutes as we arrive into our Shavasana. Letting the whole body go. Mind soften. Slowly begin to come back into your deeper breathing. Wiggling the hands and the feet, preparing the nervous system for movement. Removing the eye pillow, if you have one and rolling over to your left hand side in fetal position.
Press down through your palm and come up to your seated position for a moment with your hands to heart center. Just noticing the contrast from the start of the practice to this moment now. We'll take the sound of all once the close practice together. so much for tuning in. It was a pleasure to guide you. Have a wonderful rest of your day and namaste. Take care.